The Mordecai man knows one thing. This is not my home. Something better is waiting for me because I'm waiting on God. Listen, are you saved this morning? Because only the Christian can say something better is waiting for me. Eternity, eternity is in front of you and those who are lost and rejecting Christ will go to hell for all eternity. Like Haman, they will be hanged by their own sin and they will hear the words of God, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But for the Mordecai man and those who follow Christ, they have a mansion waiting for them. They have a home in heaven and there are better things to come. Amen. The Mordecai man knows the best is yet to come. I'm gonna end on the story. There was a young woman who had been diagnosed with terminal illness and had been given three months to live. Young woman, three months to live. She was getting her things in order, so she called her pastor. She said, I've only been given a little bit to live. She said, I want you to do my funeral. I want you to preach my funeral. The young pastor, he was, he was young, but he said, I'll be, I'll, it'll be an honor to preach your funeral. She said, I would like these songs sung, these hymns that glorify God. I would like them sung at my funeral. I would like a few things done at my funeral. The pastor said, we will do all that. He got ready to leave. As he's about to leave, the young woman said, there's one more thing. She said, when they put me in the casket, I haven't put a fork in my hand. She said, I'm sure you think that's odd, Pastor. But she said, my, my grandmother would always have dinner and at the end of the dinner, when you thought everything was over, she would whisper over to me, there's something better coming. I mean, don't put the fork back in the plate because dinner wasn't over. And she goes, I knew what she meant by that, that there was some dark chocolate brownie, some deep dish apple pie. She goes, I knew the best was yet to come. Put a fork in my hand. 